Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to pre-algebra pre chapter 6 in this book. And this book has these little green pages where it um, is teaching you little extra stuff. They're in every chapter, some green pages. And this is some of the things about geometry. And, ge and sometimes we'll skip those green pages, but most of the time we won't. And geometry, actually a little basic geometry, is classically part of pre-algebra curriculum. So let's learn some basic geometry. One of the things you can have in geometry is a point. But the definition of point in geometry is it has no dimensions. Where you can get a ruler and measure how big my point is, the idea of a point in geometry, you can't, it has no thickness. It's just this, this place. Some of the ideas are weird, I promise. Okay, the other thing is you can have a line. And a line is the set of points that uh, go between two points and continue to infinity. So that means this line would keep going forever in that direction and forever in that direction. And that's what those arrowheads mean. Now, I was reading some book of philosophy and it said that actual infinities don't exist in our universe because there's a now. If there could be infinity time, we would never get now. Too big a thought for my brain, but anyway. In math, we're going to at least, even if real infinities don't exist, we're going to pretend like they do because they make the math work out. We even have a sign for it. You know it? It's the sideways eight. That's the sign for infinity. So these lines, okay, so how you name this line is it's named by two points on it. So this is line AB, and you write the little line symbol on top with the arrows going both directions. This is a line segment. It stops at A and stops at B. It's just this, no infinity. And how you write it is AB with just a line, no arrows on it, okay? The other idea is a plane, and you can think of a plane like a piece of paper. And so like it is, it is, it is a two-dimensional, it has length and it has width, it has no uh, length, it has no height, it doesn't have, has X and Y, it doesn't have Z, no third dimension. But unlike a piece of paper that ends, it goes out in all directions once again for infinity. We draw it like a piece of paper. And then we could say like a line is on this certain place. We could say that we have line segment AB is on plane, we'll call it plane D. And that is a very common idea in geometry. The other thing we can have is a ray. It goes forever on one side and stops on the other side. So this is ray AB and you draw the symbol for it with an arrow just on one side. Another thing you can do is you can have two rays put together and it makes an angle. And uh, so this is an angle. And you know, you kind of know about angles. Angles. You know what I'm about to say. Baby shark. Do, 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 do. Okay, I need to not do that. All right, so this is an angle. And this pointy part is called the vertex. And or the mm, pointy things are vertex. Okay, so here is a triangle. That's an angle of the triangle. And the pointy part of the triangle is the vertex. Okay, so this is the angle. It can either be called angle C or it could be called angle ACB where you put the vertex in the middle. You don't put them in alphabetical order. You put them from a point on the line to the vertex to another point. So this could be called angle CBD. Now I always have kids not know how to spell angle versus angel. And this, you know, angel with the wings. Uh, so anyway, how you can keep this straight is, uh, like if you're talking about angels in the Bible, they, the name of one of God's names in the Bible is El Shaddai, E-L. So angels have that L in it, like that name of God, where angels don't. No name of God in it, so no L. All right, that seems to help people kind of keep them straight. And I don't get so many misspelled, uh, I don't get angels instead of angles in my geometry. All right, now, the next thing, how do you measure this angle? It is measured in degrees with this thing. Of course, you'll have a little one. This is a big one for class. It's called a protractor. And what you do is it has a little notch, 
you put it on the vertex, you line up one side with uh, this line right here, and then you look and see where it's pointing. It looks like it's 60. I did it earlier quickly and said it was about 70. It's somewhere between 60 and 70. So next year, not next year, year after next, you'll have geometry and you'll have geometry tools and you'll need a protractor and a compass. And uh, not the kind that Jack Sparrow uses to find his uh, island. Okay, it's one that you use to draw circles. All right, so this is a triangle. Tri means three. It's got three angles, hence triangle. The pointy part is vertex, the flat part are the sides. A quadrilateral, quad means four, it has four sides. It could be a square, it could be a, a rectangle, or it could look like that. They're all quadrilaterals. If you, a lot of times we say things are congruent in geometry instead of equals. And you'll learn more about that when you get to geometry year after next. But that's the symbol for congruent. And so like if a, two line segments like this have the same length, they are said to be congruent. If two angles have the same number of degrees, they are said to be congruent. To, to the same. Now here is a triangle, it's isosceles, you'll learn that I think next year if not this year, but how we, sh it's got certain things that are the same. This side equals that side, they're the same length, and how we show that is a red line on both sides. This angle equals that angle, how we show it is by a red swoosh, and that means those two are the same. Now this side and that angle are not the same with isosceles with equilateral, um, all three of them are the same or equilangular also. All right, so read over this little bit of geometry, those couple of pages, make sure you understand them. You'll have some homework needing to answer the questions, but it's not too hard and I think you'll be able to do it. All right, uh, come back and we'll talk more about geometry uh, with something called similar and congruent figures. All right, math is great.